Hey there friends, I'm Eric and today we're talking about how to use your catch-all system. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is install our gutter protection kit. This will protect the gutters from potential damage from falling objects as well as from scratches and dents caused by ladders. Starting on one end of the run, tilt the protector 45 degrees, slide in the gutter, and rotate into position. To make sure that the gutter hangers are positioned between the collection cups, slide the protector left or right to accommodate. Repeat this process for additional gutter protectors with a slight overlap between pieces for the length of the run. Collection cups can also be nested together if a shorter length of protection is required. Now that our gutter protection's installed, let's move on to the landscape protection kit. Start by attaching the pole toppers to the support poles and don't forget the carabiners. Next are the chute nets. These are specifically designed to guide lightweight debris away from the home down onto the ground nets. Start by laying out the chute net on the ground and attach the hook and loop custom banners in a spot where they will hang straight and be most visible. Now, beginning at one end, attach the carabiner to the top of the support pole and lean the pole against the house at about a 60 degree angle. Working your way down the net, have a helper pass you additional poles to attach to the net and lean against the house. Extra stability can be achieved by pushing the bottoms of the poles slightly into the ground and by adding some upward pressure under the soffits on a single story home. For use on a multi-story home, simply lean the poles against the facade. For even spacing, skip every other grommet and use eight poles per chute net. And remember to lean the outer two poles away from the center of the net to make the system more stable. The ground nets are designed for heavy loads, so make sure to place them only over solid surfaces like grass or concrete. Focusing on high traffic areas where the majority of debris will collect, lay out the ground nets at the base of the chute nets with about a one foot overlap. Now use the landscape nets to cover any additional areas that need protection. Now that the house is protected, tear off can begin. Once roof work is complete, cleanup will be a snap. Start by rotating the gutter protectors up and out of the gutter and emptying them onto the ground nets. Next, shake off any leftover debris off of the chute nets down onto the ground nets. Remove the poles and fully collapse. Next, remove the custom banners, roll, and store in a safe place to avoid creasing. Now, using the reinforced handles, Fold debris into the middle of the ground nets and empty into your dump trailer. Voila! On to the next job. For more information, check out thecatchall.com. Happy roofing! <laughs>